do have a question for y'all. What's up, okay. man? Let's let's reverse it real quick. Mm. What what uh, artist do you feel deserves more flowers, more credit, like the the triple threats or the the dual threats? Like who's out there that doesn't get enough? Recognition. I feel like Prime got like five names that he can yeah. pull up right now. I let, I let, yeah, I let. <laughs> well, first, I would say uh, if I was picking someone that does get a, a lot but not enough, I would say Kiki because um, I mean she she does get a lot of looks, but I still feel like she has a lot of battles out there for with her image and like being herself. And I think she should be further along based on her talent. Um, I agree. One person that. Uh, was in and out, and I, I'm going to be mad because I can't, I don't remember her name. Okay, this, she started in Belly. Her name is Tarot Hicks. If you hear her voice, her voice is so amazing, so 90s swing, so jazz, so chill, like, yeah, we, you just got to check it out. In fact, I'm going to throw it in right here. Before being known as Keisha from Belly, Actress Terrell Hicks started her career in show business in the off-Broadway musical, Mama, I Want to Sing. Then she landed the role in the 1993 American crime drama film, A Bronx Tale. In 1995, she signed a deal with Motown Records and worked with top producers like Missy Elliott, Chad Hugo, and Ted Riley. And uh, Tara Hicks, like she should definitely have continued to progress in her career. Um, maybe I was just like fawning after her because she was fine. She was fine. <laughs> but uh, she's <laughs> star of Bronx Tale, star of Belly, and she has an amazing voice. So that's who I would say, uh, Tara Hicks. Hmm. Okay, I got, I have two. Mm, okay. One. Taina. Taina. Where did she go? Yeah. <laughs> Taina wanna see my name in lights. No one's gonna stop me losing. I will go wrong. Taina. I know I can't wait to see my name in lights. No one's gonna stop me losing. I will go wrong. Taina. Taina. Dang, that was my show. Taina. I feel grown watching that. <laughs> she was vibing, yep. <laughs> yeah, so Taina and then Countess Bond. Mm, yeah. He slept on Countess Bond, man. Mm. That woman can sing and she was funny. I mean, she is funny. She still was. Before her breakthrough role as Kim Parker on Moesha and the Parkers, Countess Vaughn competed on the American singing competition show Star Search in 1988 at the age of nine. She is hilarious. Mm -hmm. She is she hilarious to me. She had a hell of a song. I've heard some of her stuff. In fact, in fact, she was on the same list that we're talking about that was put out by Black Femininity TV. You guys mm -hmm. go check that out on their YouTube. She has a great list of actors, uh, actresses that could have been singers uh, as well. Terrell Hicks is on there. And so was Countess Vaughn. I think she was like number two on this list. Uh, so it's a great resource for the conversation that we're having. But yeah, Countess, she had uh, that swing too. Like she was up there with Brandy as far as her vocal skills. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. and Brandy was like, "Okay, girl, I need you to get your own show. Go, on. Yeah. <laughs> go on over there. <laughs> you got Parker stuff. Look.